Hello all, in this video we are going to learn what all new features we have added in multipurpose form generator 4.5 version. So we added some of the interesting feature in multipurpose in multi form generator 4.5. So some of them are like we added integration for SL email and added form layout option, page break and these are few improvements we, which we have done. So if you are new to this multipurpose form generator let me show you this multipurpose form generator like it's a drag and drop form builder where you can easily build any kind of forms using three steps and we have support for multiple html fields advanced field multiple type of validation and email notification mailchimp and we newly added integration for sl email anti spam protection fully responsive and there is an option for selecting different card layouts so here you can see all the details of the feature which we have in multipurpose form generator along with it it also comes with an extended license which you can use to create different subscriptions and earn recurring revenue using the subscriptions so let's get started let me show you the demonstration of the new feature i will just click on this demo and i will just log in with this demo user Okay, let me just go to this create a form and video demo form and I can select some templates here let me just create a blank form so here I have created a blank form initially it will show me all the steps I can click on this next and next step to view all the walkthrough of our application so let me just click on skip for now and I will add two elements one is input text area drop down radio let me add some um, date time picker so you can see like I have added multiple elements here and I will just click on save as form and I will preview the form so right now our form like it's a classic layout like all the fields are showing in a single page but what if we need something kind of a type form where all the fields where all the um, input elements will be shown as a next next page so let me just click on so here what i have done is selected the layout as a card form layout so single elements per page will be shown here and so you can see right now like it's showing date time picker i will click on this next then it's showing me the next element click on the next then next element here it will show the drop down and in the very last element it will show a submit button also there is an option to go previous and next here so let me add some validation here let me make this text area as a required field i will add some validation make it as a required i will make this one also as a required and save the form once again preview the form so right now this field is not required so i click on the next see this field is required so it is showing a red color as stick here I will click on the next so it's not going to the next like I have to fill it because this is a required field so all the validations will work on each individual elements here similarly this will not work until I will select any of the elements and we can add so it is getting submitted so it's an interesting feature using this feature you can do multiple things you can create form where each input or each input field will be shown in every page in each, each in next next pages so this is what we are discussed about second option like form layout option added then third one is like page break element added so let's us let us assume like you don't want to add every element in each page like in some pages you want the two or three multiple elements to be shown so how we can do that is let me just change the form layout as a classic form so if we have made it as a classic form 
preview the form then it's a simple classic form where all the fields will be shown so let me add a line break page break after this text area so i will just select the page break element here and i will add the page break after our text area so you can see like it's showing a page break element here and i will just click on this save preview the form so you can see like it's showing me two elements here if i will click on the next step to enter this value then here it's showing me the all the sets of next pages element so you can control like what all elements to be shown in each, in, each, in each pages so it's a very good feature using this feature you can do multiple things you can either use this card form layout or you can use this space break element so you can use this space break element multiple times in in a page in a particular form so while we have selected this page break element this card form layout will not work card form layout disabled when page break element is used so you cannot use this page break and card form layout at once then then the next one is we have added integration for sl email so it's sl email like it's a very popular emailing system which is available in code canyon so we have added this integration for sl email let me go to our documentation how you can integrate sl email in multi purpose form generator so enabling sl email so first log in with super admin go to the system settings then here scroll down and you will file sl email integration option let me just check if it is possible here i will go to the super admin go to the system settings here i will go to the system settings here inside system setting we have option for integration here you can enable enable sl email so if we are enabling sl email we have to give like what name should we so for sl email so i can add any email, any name here and here i have to give the api endpoint api endpoint where sl email is installed so where you have installed the sl email you have to give the api endpoint here so here is an example for example if the sl email is, is installed in this then it should be configured like this then after like this uh, whenever someone will whenever someone wants to integrate sl email in his in his form what he has to do is he has to just go to this edit form i will go to this edit form here and here it will show another option similar to mailchimp it will show another option for sl email and the name will be the same name which you provided here in the name field right okay so like here it will show this tab here the tab name will be the same name which you added in the system settings super admin settings so after you have enabled click on this enable check box here you have to enter the api token the option or the documentation to generate api token is available in the actual email documentation so enter the api token here and click on the get list so after clicking on the get list it will show the list of all the list which you have in actual email and there you can select which you, which list you want the submissions to be synced with so after this you can select all the fields and you can configure actual email with with multi purpose form generator so this is a very interesting feature using this like you don't have to use or you have to don't have to rely on mailchimp or very expensive emailing solutions so i hope this three solution this three improvements are like very good improvements to multi purpose form generator the next we have added reply to option in form submission email so let me go to this form email and here we have added, added like option to reply to email so whenever you are receiving new submission email it will send a like it will by default it will send a reply to the form email like from email which you have provided but what if if you want the email to be 
the email to go to a particular email address so using this you can like you can select reply to email so what you have to do is let me just add a input field here and i will convert this input type as a email here and he, then i will go to this email tab so here you can see like it is showing me the list of all uh, fields which are of type email so whenever someone will type his or her email in this input field uh, so that reply to reply to header will be set as per that dynamic field then we have added form submission sorted by date so if i will go to the home if i will go to the list of all submissions which are available form is for a form for a form let me go to this form submission here so previously it was showing in a like the latest was shown in in last page but right now we are showing it the latest will be shown in the first page so what the latest data will be shown in the very top of this particular table so these are the two improvements we have added in this release 4.5 and we added some missing translations in a multi purpose form generator 4.5 i hope you really find this all this feature very very interesting and definitely like it's a very big improvement to multi purpose form generator and i hope it is very useful to you thank you